former worker complaining about what he calls offensive and racist signs hanging on the walls of a South Florida towing company. What's more, that company happens to have numerous government contracts. Investigator Bob Norman asks the tough questions in a story you'll see only on Local 10. There's a sign with the, an alligator eating a little black baby. And the baby's called a dainty morsel. It's a Jim Crow era ad for something called Little African Licorice Drops. Another sign depicts a crudely portrayed black man in an obscene act. He's screaming out for his mammy. And there are more blatantly racist signs that have been hanging in this building. Pieces you might imagine hanging in a KKK meeting hall. But this is Sal's Towing, a long-standing Fort Lauderdale business that boasts public contracts with the cities of Coral Springs, Lauderdale-by-the-Sea, Wilton Manors, and the Florida State Fire Marshal, among other governments. They're basically vulgar and, like, Flat out racist. Todrick Knight, an ex Sal's employee recently quit, says the signs on the walls aren't the only thing racist at the business. He said the tow company's senior driver, who trained him, referred to him as the N word and constantly complained about Haitians. Hello. Hi, can I help you? I tried to ask owner Sal Bellasai about it. Uh, wait a minute, sir. Hold on. What can I do for you? We soon spotted one of the offending signs and asked General Manager Leon Strife about it. Look, here's what I'm talking about. Look at, you see this sign right here? These signs are these signs are all over the the office. Can you see how somebody might have a problem with that sign? These of color. These are antique signs all over this building. But don't you think they're racist? If you think racist, but we don't think racist here. So. He asked me off the property. You don't think those are racist? No, I don't think racist. Then an employee named Christopher Smith came out to defend the owner. Sal's not racist at all. I showed Smith, who said he'd been employed there six months, a photo of one of the offending signs. Is that racist? You can, you can say it's racist, yes. Should they be up on the wall at a respectable business? Well... No, it shouldn't. Smith also acknowledged that the senior driver had used the racist terminology in his presence. I will find it offensive, but if I know that's how that person is, then I laugh it off. So you accept him, you accept his racist ways? That's him. That's just him. But do you think that Sal should accept that? No, I don't. I see discrimination. When shown photos of the signs, Coral Springs Mayor Skip Campbell said he was, quote, horrified. He said he directed his city to review its Sal's towing contract to determine if it violated any of the terms of the agreement. Is that the kind of business you want your city to do business with? No, it's not. You know, it's something that I don't think is permissible in today's society, and it's unacceptable. The owner, Sal Bellasai, refused to go on camera, but he told me he didn't view the signs as racist at all and didn't see how anyone would be offended by them hanging at his business. But he did say that in light of the concerns raised in this story, he was taking those signs down from the business. Bob Norman, Local 10 News.